Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis where I have a very good one for you today where I'm going to be talking you through my three most recent trades on Bitcoin and then the very important price action that we have going on right now on Bitcoin, obviously coming up in an ascending triangle, very similar to two, early 2019 and how we can expect this to trade, okay? And I'll be going over my targets for the up and down side of this break, which is likely to come in the coming days. Uh, so we are very close to a break of this triangle, very excited indeed uh, but before I go over the uh, you know the triangle that we have going on right now I want to talk you through first uh, some wizardry over the last few days mentioning wizardry if you haven't read the book market wizards it is a good trading book uh, and I will be releasing edition three of said book for cryptocurrency very soon <laughs> uh, so obviously it all started I, I, I make myself laugh. <laughs> it obviously all started these trades uh, with my Champions live stream on Sunday. So in my Champions live streams, I obviously give my opinion of how I expect Bitcoin to trade and how I am trading it. And my prediction in that live stream was this, you know, we obviously had this really nice descending triangle going on. But my expectation was that we would break down out of the uh, descending triangle. Obviously, that's going to get a lot of people bearish, trap a lot of shorts, and then you send it the other way. So where I was looking for support, where I was expecting the bounce from, is the 0.5 Fibonacci speed fan. And obviously, many people don't even know how to use the speed fan, but it's actually a really great support. So it's a really good tool to learn. Uh, so I was expecting us to push down, hit that 0.5 speed fan before getting the, uh, you know, the increase in price. Uh, oh yeah, during that live stream as well, I was in a short position. So that was nice because we actually got the drop during the live stream. So that's always beneficial. And uh, upon getting that break to the downside, you can actually see that we did hit the 0.5 Fibonacci speed fan. And upon hitting the speed fan, which is obviously where I was looking at for it to find support, we did get the break up. OK, so you can see here we came down to the you know speed fan, done a little try, uh, uh, done a little channel before breaking to the upside here. Upon breaking to the upside, this is where I really want to emphasize on this trade. And this is what you really need to fully understand if you want to be like a good trader. The, the the reason of being reactive in trading, okay? Because obviously my original prediction was that we'd break down, break back up, and then go back down. But upon seeing the data of the breakdown and the break back up, this break up was on a really good, you know, a really good strength, okay? So there was a lot of volume behind the move. There was a lot of delta behind the move. There was no reason to try and fade this move at this type moment in time. And this is where it all comes down to as a trader... Um, you know, not sticking, not sticking so much to like predictions. You are not in this game to make predictions and be right or wrong. Essentially, you're in this, you're in this game at the end of the day to make money. What do you prefer to be? Okay, stick by an original prediction like this, which obviously traded really nice stage one and stage two. But upon seeing stage three, I could have like held, you know, I could have shorted again up here and said, you know, I'm going to trade this. I want to be right on this original prediction. Or I can say I've changed my mind. We've seen stage one and stage two, but instead of stage three, I'm expecting further upside here. And obviously being reactive. OK, so it's obviously in, in the first instance, I didn't have any of the data. So when I was originally predicting the drop and, back, you know, back up, didn't have the data at this point to see what was going on here. But upon having that data, Upon being able to see the charts, it's been able to react and, you know, adjust your strategy accordingly and your, your plan for the day. So this was obviously our really nice sign of strength. We got that move up. And I guess to highlight this even more, imagine that you were short from 6,200. You're short 6,200. You dropped to 5,800. You're in really nice profits, really good profits. And but let's say you just don't take any profits. You think it's just going to go down lower. So upon seeing your really nice profits, you suddenly are sat at break even again. And you're thinking, oh, I really should have took profits, but I'm going to hold on to this short because I just think it's going to go down. You know, I've got to be right here. It will go down eventually. And then... And you don't react to the sign of strength here. And, uh, you know, you obviously uh, you're you're presented with the next screen where my prediction played out. No, really nicely indeed, where we got our move back up here. OK, so we got our move back up and that just highlights again that, you know, react to the chart. Don't hold on to biases. Just be, you know, free to adjust and when you see fit. And obviously we got that move back up here. And for me, this is where the confluence was. So it was obviously a point of control. Our 382 speed fan on the 75 speed fan. That was for me the confluences. And in the group, obviously in my champions group, I do update like live when I'm like taking these trades. So I did say to everyone in the group that I was going short. My short position was 6,561. And uh, what I was looking for here was the same as, as from before. Move up to this, you know, confluence region before coming back down in price. Hence why when we got up to this price, I was looking for it to come back down. Hence why I was taking short positions. 
and it was it kind of was really nice <laughs> so have a guess how that traded yes yeah, so we obviously hit the seven five so we managed to get into those shorts like right up the top of the move which is obviously really nice indeed because you're under zero pressure you know straight away you're in profits and it's it's easy to let your trades sort of run longer so it's always good but nevertheless what we saw was this move back down okay so we did get that move back down and this late you know brings me on to what i was expecting yesterday okay so this was my plan that I sort of laid out for the team, okay? So I was presenting this chart, okay, where we're sort of in the middle, stuck between point of control one, point of control two. And I was saying, you know, we're in between these two point of controls, but there is more liquidity to the upside. So there's more liquidity to the upside. I am expecting a push to the upside, but I first want to see a move down, sweep the lows, uh, before you know going long in a target of 6,650. Uh, so along this sort of line. So here we are at 6,300, push it down to 6,150 before you know reclaiming that level and pushing it all the way back up to 6650 well have a guess how that one traded <laughs> so obviously this this <laughs> traded well i'll give you a heads up so uh, obviously this was our original point where i was looking for the move down we did get our move down we did sweep the lows of 6200 we obviously bounced off of that bounced off to 618 and bounced up again so there's your market structure confirmation there's your 618 confirmations you've seen a lot of confirmation uh, and you know you've got to be expecting that that pump is pretty imminent at this point you're seeing all the ingredients put together once you've got all the, all the ingredients put together you make the cake and the cake came with a very nice <laughs> very nice increase in price obviously you did have that uh falling wedge as well just for another another piece and i'll show you one more actually it wasn't good yeah i'll show you one more uh with this pitchfork and this was one that i was mentioning as well to the team uh so you know what we were wanting to see was that move down to around the 6150 region and then back above and that would obviously be really nice for your long positions this is what it was looking like at the time at 6300 looking for this 6150 seeing the nice reaction going into the long and there's that pitchfork by the way so there's the pitchfork high low to the high Okay, and that was our confluence really for this trade. Okay, so we sit, we're seeing like four, four, you know, four or five levels of confluence to take this long at this, you know, idea at this point of what we were looking to trade out. And uh, yeah, shout out to the members as well, by the way, that were also short from 6,500 uh, with their final take profits at 6,100, 6,000, uh, you know, 6,150, 6,200. And because that is literally shorting the top final take profit at the bottom going into a from our short into a long and yeah trading it back up so obviously that traded really nice there was our confluence and that obviously brought us up to where we are now so obviously my target was around 6,666 we currently sat at 6,689 so slightly above it uh and what we actually have is a bullish type of pattern going on so let me show you what we have here hide that again and i'll put on this triangle so this is the pattern that you must be aware of right now, okay? So this is obviously our ascending triangle. Well, I, I say ascending triangle. There's obviously a lot of white and black, you know, blank space inside of this triangle. So there is a lot, you know, it's, it's not like amazingly valid, but nevertheless, it's the structure that we're looking at here more so. Low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So, you know, if this trend is to continue here locally we can expect this to you know push up generally so upon that breakup obviously you've got a few key levels 7200 if you don't swing failure pattern then you'll be looking up to eight you know around 7800 slash 8000 uh, and that could obviously come fairly swiftly so things you're going to have to be looking for is obviously volume confirmations upon this uh volume confirmations open interest uh, <laughs> you know really 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 important because if you do get a swing failure pattern then you're probably going to be looking down to you know 6000 again fairly swiftly so you can get this thousand dollar break outside of this triangle to the upside or downside all depending on the confirmation of a swing failure so you've got to be very much aware of that but nevertheless that is the pattern that you've got to have on your chart right now just just do yourself a favor put this this is this triangle on mark out the monthly and uh, be aware of you know the confirmations that you're looking for upon the break of this triangle very 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 important indeed uh, I guess if you don't know how to look at confirmations, then feel free to come over to the group where people are going to be posting charts all day long, <laughs> literally all day long, um, you know, and, and saying whether we get that confirmation or not, as well as myself, I'll be updating you on how I trade that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's everything that I wanted to mention. And oh, this is this is this is a little another one as well. So this was obviously our uh, well from our predictions, lots of people in the group getting in at around this 6,300, 6,200 region. And obviously now we sit at you know nearly six thousand seven hundred. So what a day for, for for those longs! Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful indeed. Uh, so another happy family, happy trading family makes me very happy. Uh, makes everybody happy. So really nice. 
you're obviously in, you know, if you're interested in this content, and I, and I suppose right now with, with the quarantine, what better time than right now to learn how to trade? Like, you're just absolutely blessed with the time I suppose for the majority anyway that you know, if you're in quarantine uh, you got you you know you find yourself stuck in in your home then why you know what better time literally to learn how to master these charts and, and make some money from trading I mean it's a pretty good opportunity in my opinion um so yeah if you're interested you can go across to chartchampions.com and check that out um and I suppose like what you could ask yourself as a general question is with the market so weak at the moment so you look, go across to the stock market gold is not so bad actually gold is not so bad as uh, you know gold and silver but the stock markets in particular obviously they are heavily still crashing okay there's they're very very red um so you have to ask yourself with you know the general market so weak is bitcoin going to be able to hold up here is bitcoin going to be able to like break the correlation and really push on while, while the worst weakness around the world um and you know this is my response to the to the answer of can Bitcoin perform well in a recession? Obviously, firstly, we have not got the data needed to really make an informed decision. So if we cannot make an informed decision, does Bitcoin perform well in a recession? Um, well, we have to say to ourselves, let's stop focusing on the news and trade the chart. <laughs> Honestly, that's my opinion. In my opinion, everything that you see in the chart is a reflection of the news. You do not need to look at the news to know what's going on. You can look at the chart. Stock markets red coronavirus is continuing bad stock markets green fed are printing infinite money <laughs> um so you know everything that you need to know is all in the chart okay the chart literally does tell you know tell a story it tells the news so essentially so you know over my trades over the last few days did i look at the news once absolutely not did i look at the chart yes every trade was you know based off of the chart an informed decision and every trade has traded well so uh, that just goes to show you don't need the news <laughs> just trade the chart and uh, you know you can you can do well in this trading space so uh, yeah, obviously a bit of a different video than normal. I'm, I'm very much expecting this to be one of my most disliked videos, I must say. Group leaders in particular do not like it when I make good trades. So <laughs> I'm expecting this one to be, you know, have a lot of dislikes, but it does not phase me at all. Doesn't I don't literally don't care. But I know the majority absolutely appreciate and love this, this content. So this is for you, uh, for the ones that like it, the ones that are interested in, you know, trading and making some money so uh thank you once again on my behalf have a brilliant day obviously with the coronavirus and all this you know stay safe you know stay inside and trade literally just stay inside trading and you you can save lives save lives and uh learn a very very as i said here like a really invaluable skill you know you can use this for the rest of your life and uh yeah, I can just kind of emphasize how, how great trading is. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually now going to go and do a live stream for the champions. I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit happy today. Obviously, I've had a really sore throat recently, and today I've woken up and it's like really, you know, it's feeling a lot better. So, <laughs> I'm happy about that. So, I'm going to go do a live stream now for the champion members. Um, so that's kind of my day, and I hope that you have a good day with what you are doing. So, uh, cheers, everybody, once again, and thank you. Goodbye.